Hello and welcome back to Logic Gates. Today we take a look at the simplest logic gate of all, the NOT gate, and we'll take this chance to recap some of the things we learned in episode 1. I'll also take you through a few concepts that will help you throughout this course. Sit back and relax, this is episode 2 of the Logic Gates web series on 0612 TV. The logic gate we'll look at right now is the NOT gate. If you remember from the first episode, I told you logic gates take two inputs and produce one output. The NOT gate is the exception. It takes only one input, producing output based solely on that one input. I'm sure you could take a guess at what a NOT gate does. The word NOT suggests a contradiction, and that's exactly what a NOT gate does. If it receives a zero as an input, it'll produce one as an output. Similarly, receiving 1 as an input results in an output of 0. This behavior has led to the NOT gate being sometimes known as an inverter. So far so good, but how do you present this on paper? Surely there's a way to present a logic gate's input and output pattern in writing. Well, turns out there is, in the form of what's known as a truth table. What you're seeing on screen is a truth table for the NOT gate. Truth tables always have at least two columns, at least one for input values, and another for the output value based on the gate's processing. Of course, since most other logic gates take two values for input instead, their truth tables look a bit more complicated than what we are seeing here. Since the truth table for a NOT gate is pretty easy to understand, we'll leave the construction of truth tables to the next episode. Now, a logic gate is no good on its own. Instead, Gates are normally wired in a circuit form, with data being passed around from gate to gate, creating the desired output. Before putting down gates on a circuit board, one needs to first plan out how they intend to lay out these gates by planning with a diagram on paper. This means different logic gates have their own symbols for use in such diagrams. I'll show you the symbol for each gate as we get to it. For the NOT gate, the symbol looks like this. In this figure, data is supposed to travel from left to right. Since the NOT gate takes only one input, there is only one line connected to the input side of the gate in the diagram. That's pretty much it for NOT gates. In the next episode, we'll look at slightly more complicated gates and their truth tables. You are watching the Logic Gates web series on 0612 TV.